Welcome to the tutorial for Solar Mandala. There are some things that I just wanted to go through real quick. Uh, there, most of this is pretty much self-explanatory. You have your color one and your color two, which is the blue and the the light blue and the dark blue. The dark blue are cycling through because I have it set to that basic timeline. Uh, if I turn that off, you basically just have a slider that you can adjust um, where you want it to be. Uh, the edge colors are exactly that. Uh, I'm going to stop the uh, movement, the transport beat. Um, so I'll just set it for just trigger and just trigger there as well. Um, you'll notice that it's still moving and the reason why is because the to and from are still set. So if I set to the, that to zero hertz, you'll notice that now it's no longer moving. Uh, there's a glow going on behind the scenes, so it will kind of still be slowly moving and that has to do with the brightness. Uh, it sees something uh, based on that glow, which is a feedback loop. Uh, and so that's the reason why every now and then you get these little moving parts, even when it's stopped. Uh, so that's pretty much what's going on there. Um, but you also have the option for beat trigger. Um, you can move it uh, a little bit or a lot by changing the release time. So if I change the release time, you'll notice it's not very fast or it's not very much. If I, you know, slide it all the way to the right, um, now it's really going to move, right? Um, so that was uh, that option. Also, the same thing down here. Um, this is for the actual movement itself, the, the movement through the, the, the ether, if you will, right? So if I move this down, it's not going to do it uh, as much. It's going to be a slower uh, speed. So you also have transport beat and you also have metronome. Uh, transport beat is set for your tapping. So if you tap the beat to a different speed, it'll adjust accordingly, um, which was suggested to me from a friend of mine who was a wonderful suggestion. Uh, you also have the option for metronome as well. Um, so if you set it to metronome, your metronome speed is set. There's a there's a slider on both places, met speed, met speed, right? And what you can do is you can either slow it down or speed it up. Uh, if you speed it up a great deal, then it'll move a lot faster, right? So that's the the premise there. Um, I didn't want it to move it too crazily, um, uh, but this is moving a little bit slower. I will fix that um, so that it's moving a lot more faster than that. Um, so anyways, uh, transport beat is really probably where most people want it. Um, so there's the option for both. Oh, I know why. Uh, because I need to set my flow. If I go back to metronome, I bet you it'll work a little bit faster now. There, now it's moving a little bit faster based on the metronome, right? So uh, that's that's that part. Um, then there's also the option for contrast, which is obviously exactly as it sounds. Um, it's the brightness and contrast of those areas, and it'll make it feel more blown out in certain areas. Like sometimes you want it more contrasted, right? Um, but then you'll have like a color um, so I can change the background color and I can also change the base shadow color. So then um, you can get some really funky, you know, looks. Um, it's really kind of up to you. And then the last thing is the opacity. The edge opacity is exactly that. There's a there's an edge line around the shadow, um, around the whole entire thing, actually. Uh, and it's it's you can change the color and you can also, you know, uh, set it to the beat if you wanted to by doing the external FFT. Um, you know, everything is external FFT that is, you know, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with that. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, complaints, concerns, let me know. Oh, uh, I also have presets set up. Um, so there's a series of them to choose from. Uh, there's all kinds of different things that you could do with this. Um, it's really meant to be a, it's another kind of like, um, uh, basics, right? It's it's something that is to be added to something more. Um, so I that's how I see these kinds of things. It's like a building block. Um, you may have like some really elaborate thing going on, and then this is a good way to kind of fill up the space um, where you want have you want to have something there, but there's not really like you're just not sure what this this works really well. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. I be sure to have a great day. Bye bye.